Welcome to the series Mastery Composer Elements. Today's video will show you in detail how to create a responsive image grid using Monsery Layout on your Shopify store. A Shopify masonry layout, often referred to as a Pinterest-style layout, is a particular way of displaying products or images on your Shopify store. The term masonry is borrowed from the construction world where bricks of different sizes are used to build walls. Similarly, a masonry layout arranges content of varying heights and widths in a grid-like style, similar to a mason fitting stones in a wall. Okay, let's start creating a masonry grid in your Shopify store using a composer right now. First, go to the Shopify dashboard, select App, and open a Composer page builder. In case you haven't installed the app, you can find the link to a Composer on Shopify App Store in this video description. Now choose an existing page that you want to add masonry layout element. You can also create a completely new page by clicking the Start Building button here. In this video, I'll select my product page. Welcome to a Composer Editor. Now, locate where you want to place the masonry layout element. Then drag and drop it. Okay, this is the display of the masonry layout element when added to the a Composer Editor. A Composer provides you with a masonry layout preset library here. Preset is a feature available in almost elements of a Composer. It is simply pre-built elements with stunning style and appearance. Details about element preset you can see in the element preset video here. With the masonry layout element, you will be provided with many templates to help make creating your masonry layout simpler than ever. To use a masonry layout preset, select a template and click the Use Full Preset button here. If you don't want to use it anymore, just click that button again. Now, we will configure masonry layout element. Content tab is divided into two parts, banner items and settings. Banner items help you change the image and content of each item you want to display in masonry layout. Within each banner item here, you have additional options to edit the details. The banner name option lets you change the name of the banner. The banner width option lets you change the width of the banner. The content alignment option will align the content of the element to the left, center, or right. Horizontal and vertical positions allow you to align the position of the content block in the banner. Depending on your needs, you can align it to the left, right, top, bottom, or center. Next is the image editing option. You can easily change the displayed image by clicking the change button here. A composer allows you to upload an image or select any free image from a composer's unlimited image library. You can then enter the image link for the banner here. The content editing option includes the title, subtitle, and content fields applicable to the content. Just click on the edit box to easily edit the content of each field. With the button option, you can edit fields, including the button label, link, and ID applied to the button. You can also add icons to your button to make it more attractive. A composer provides you with a collection of icons that suit most of your needs or you can upload your own icons. You can add the items if you want by clicking the Add Items button here. You can also duplicate banner items by clicking this button. Or click the button next to delete the items you want to delete. Part 2 in the Content tab is Settings. This section provides you with options including Disable Lazy Load, Display Content when Hover Image and Enable Overlay. Please tick each option that suits you here. A Composer provides you with 10 hover animation options to help you design a masonry layout with unique effects. And finally is Transition. It allows you to set the transition duration of the border on hover. Now, we will go to the Design tab. The Design tab includes 7 parts. General part helps you set margin or padding values for the banner. With image, you can edit width, max width, image fit, box shadow, border, border radius. Heading, subheading and content are three parts that help you edit the color, font, size, etc. of the content in masonry layout.
with button, you can change the color, width, height of the button or the font, size, etc. of the content in the button. Finally, there is the icon part. This is the icon you add to the button. With the icon part, you can edit the position, color, size, rotation, and spacing. I have completed my masonry layout. How do you feel? To finish editing, I need to select save and publish this page. Alright, I have successfully added a masonry layout element to my page. Let's check it out. That is the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for our channel. If you don't have a Shopify account, feel free to click on the link we attached in the description below. The newest Shopify exclusive deal is waiting for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Ecomposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. I'm putting the details in the description below. See you next time!